Today, as we celebrate the Feast of St. Andrew, brother of Simon Peter, one of the Twelve Apostles, and first called to follow Jesus, we thank God for the gift of three new priests for the Diocese of Cubao. We also thank their parents for their generosity in offering their sons for the service of the church. Many friends, not much is really known about St. Andrew and all the apostles. And yet, we know that they had that passion to carry out the mission entrusted to them by the Lord, to continue to make God's love known to all. To be a disciple of Jesus is to witness and share one's faith. How much have we shared our faith with others? How much have we strengthened the faith of others so that they could mature in their relationship with Jesus? If there is a word that we often hear nowadays, it is the word synodal. Another word for synodal is together. Jesus could have saved the world by himself, and yet he decided to choose his co-workers, selecting disciples whom he taught and sent out on a mission. He sent them two by two. Jesus even taught us to pray in groups of two or three, tellingly promise, I will be in the midst of them. We need one another, and we need most of all an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ to bring the gospel to all. Faith is not an end in itself. It is necessary to give witness to it by preaching or by acting. No one can come to faith unless he or she has heard the good news of Jesus Christ. Faith always comes first, then mission. Taken together, they require a full-time commitment, an everyday yes to Jesus. St. Andrew and the apostles are models for us. They left everything and followed our Lord. To our dear Reverend Joe Marie, Reverend Marty, and Reverend Mosky, I would like you to remember and live each day some important truths about being a servant of the Lord and His people and what it means to share in the ministerial priesthood of the Lord. First, it is the Lord who called you first. Hindi ikaw ang pumili sa Kanya at pinili ka hindi Dahil you are the best. He called you because He has chosen you. Your vocation is a gift and so are you. Never ever forget that. Never forget the gifts and never forget the giver. Because all is gift. All is grace. Hindi magbabago ang isip ng Panginoon. Kailanman hindi niya babawiin ang kanyang ipinagkaloob, ipinagkatiwala sa inyo ang pagpapari. Sa inyong ordinasyon, ipapatungko ang aking mga kamay sa inyo, tanda ng inyong pagkahira. Pikit mata ang Diyos dahil may kalayaan kayong isabuhay ang inyong pagkahira. Kaya marapat lamang na araw-araw dapat ninyong ipangatawanan ang inyong Oo sa Kanya. Alagaan ninyo ang tiwala ng Diyos sa inyo. Mahalin ninyo ang Kanyang banal salita na ngungusap sa inyo. Kaya huwag ninyong pabayaan ang iyong buhay panalangin at paglilingkod sa mga tao, lalong-lalo na sa mga dukha. Do not forget that your life is the greatest gift. You are appreciated. Admire and loved by so many. Remember, being happy is not having 
a sky as seen as Pope Francis tells us, without storm, a road without accidents, a job without effort, a relationship without disappointments. Pangalawa, kung papaano mahalaga ang pakikipagunayan sa Diyos, ganin din kahalaga ang ating sacramental brotherhood o ang ating pakikipagkapatid sa kapwa pari. Sila'y mga kapatid na kasama sa paglalakbay at pagliligod at kumisan ay gumagabay at nagiging inspirasyon sa atin. Pangatlo, marami tayong pinagdaanan at pinagdaraanan at salamat sa Diyos ay ay buhay pa tayo. I have met three serious accidents in my life. I could have been dead by now, but here I am. Thanks be to God. It's through the mercy and love of God, serving in my own little way, doing my best in fulfilling His will. Si Mosky ay sumailalim ng sang serious operation before entering the seminary. He could not have made it, pero very grateful siya sa Diyos at pinagkalooban pa ng pagkakataon makapaglingkod bilang pari. Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus Christ paved, led, and is the way for this appointed day. And the three unworthy men here in front of you ordained to this mission. We answered the call and trusted Him to leave our boats, our personal space and refuge, to leave our nets, our self-sufficiency and self-reliance, and to leave our family, our comfort zones, to leave the security of the shores and put out into the deep, Duke in Alto, a place we never dared and imagined, but sent. It was never an easy decision for the three of us, and that is the truth. But it is the best decision we have made in our lives. To follow Him, the carpenter's son, to teach us how to fish. Father Jomari, Father Marty, and I are just filled with genuine awe for this undeserved gift of the priesthood. And at the same time, profound gratitude for the many graces and blessings that sustained us along the way. We may never have reached this point without Him and the people He used and sent to prepare us for this journey ahead. My dear friends, let's always look back and be grateful to the Lord for our past. We are never alone. The Lord has promised to be with us until the end of time. God is and will always be faithful to His promise to be with us, to sustain our ministry, and to persevere until the end. Thank you, Jo Marie Mosque and Marty, for having the courage to say yes to the Lord's invitation to share His life and His mission. Thank you for your generosity in saying yes to the Father's love, known to make it known to the world as Jesus did. Allow the Lord to use you, all that you are, all that you have, to bring hope to those who are in despair, to bring light to those in darkness, to give direction to those who are lost, to satisfy those who hunger and thirst, and most importantly, to remind people that amidst the changes of this passing world, there are things that truly last. Be faithful to your identity. You are a priest for Christ, for His people, and for the Church. Be the Father's face to everyone you meet. When people meet you, may they see the Lord in and through you.